So ARM has participated in the uh, cellular ecosystem for over 25 years. Um, everything from handsets to being a key part of computing that's happening in base stations and throughout the network. Um, and we see that only increasing, um, and that's increasing because of the compute demands that are happening throughout the network as we go to more virtualization and things that are becoming software defined in the network, as well as the throughputs and the speeds and feeds that are driving uh, the network traffic and the types of growth with the new use cases. So we see ourselves essential, uh, for not just of the infrastructure of the past, but really as we go forward to 5G and beyond. Well, I think that one of the things about 5G and about communications is one of the key aspects is it being ubiquitous. And ubiquitous means mountaintops, it means deserts, it means frozen areas. Um, so the idea of ubiquitous connectivity is diversity and the types of solutions. And there's really not a one size fits all for the market, which is what, what makes ARM so strong because of the ecosystem of our partners. They have many different specialties, many different markets they're focused on. And when they bring those, our core IP to market, you end up with this broad ecosystem um, that's really able to provide a significant value proposition to the operators, as well as at the end of the day, to the consumers. So Neoverse has proved to be an excellent solution for this space. And a lot of that's because we're bringing really impressive uh, single threaded performance and doing so in a power, die size, and uh, performance envelope that is unmatched. And that's what this segment is really looking for. How do you get enough performance in the right power envelope to be able to power these new networks scalable and doing it in a secure manner? And that's really the core tenets of Neoverse. So it's been a great platform and something that our partners can take that core platform and add their unique IP that's specialized for this market. Well, so it's a, that's a great question. Um, Arm obviously has a significant amount of presence at endpoints, whether it's IoT or client devices. Now with our Neoverse solutions, we're showing that we can support the highest performance needs in core data centers. So what happens is it's really a blending that happens at that edge. So we're able to bring the software ecosystem as well as the hardware IP choices and really be able to provide those unique solutions through this continuum of products that our customers are looking to build. So we've been showing a lot of performance, 5G performance on ARM. So we've got a whole set of accelerators that are showing how you can use ARM partner technologies that are built around ARM processors and how to accelerate 5G throughout the stack, whether that be at the lower levels of an L1 or as you go to the higher levels of the stack from L2 and L3. So we're showing that throughout a wide array of ecosystem partners. And then we're working on our 5G solutions lab which is something we announced previously about how we're bringing together these partners so that they can provide, uh, this ecosystem can start showing the interoperability, um, the testing, we've got carriers involved, we've got ISV software providers, we've got hardware providers, and, and it's really becoming exciting because it's showing the diversity of the ARM ecosystem, but allowing people to start see the pieces interact and have comfort in being able to actually go to a multi-vendor ecosystem, which is what a lot of this market is looking for. So first off, go to arm.com. Uh, we've got a wide array of solutions that are highlighted there. Uh, you can explore much of the demos that were provided, that were shown. We've got a lot of information about solutions, blogs from industry experts, and and some of my team and our view of where the markets are going. Secondly, if you're an ARM ecosystem partner, uh, you might want to consider participating in the 5G lab. We've seen tremendous amount of interest and it's really becoming a one plus one equals three type of equation for our ecosystem partners.